Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Today, I am going to show you how to build a passenger train line. So what you want to do is, of course, you need to go into your progression, and you need to go down to transportation, and you're going to unlock the train one. I believe it is two points. It might be one point, uh, but obviously I've already unlocked it in this city. I wanted to use a city that I have established. I built this off camera, but um, I wanted to have it established so that we could go in and just go ahead and get things going. But the first thing you need to do after you unlock it is you need to go down to transportation and build a rail yard. If you already have a cargo rail going, then you probably have already built your rail yard. And so that is the first thing we're going to do. So then there are a couple of different ways you can do this. You can set up your trains so that they are only external connections or they only connect to the external rail. And so you could take, you could, could go in here and you can build a train station like I've done. You could go to transportation and go train station and get that built in there. We already have a nice one in here. And then you can go to create a route and you can do that transportation again and do passenger railway line tool. And then you're going to want to click to create a route in one of these spots. And then you're going to go to the edge of your map and then click on the rail connection there. So that will add a new waypoint and then go back and click at the beginning point again to create the line. I've already done that for two of them. So you can go over here to transportation overview and then you can see the public transit and you can see train lines. I have three of them. EPS is external and then I've got one internal going as well. And you can see they're in use a little bit, not very much yet. The city's still pretty small, but that is one way you can do it. And that is a key thing to remember is that in City Skylines 1, if you built a train station and connected it to an external connection, it automatically would have the external trains coming and going. That's not how it works in City Skylines 2. Here, you have to manually create the line, but that does mean that you have control over how many trains are doing it. And you can see I've only assigned one train to each of those lines. And so that is one thing you can do. The other thing you can do with trains is you could have them connect different parts of your city. So I have one internal rail and we're actually going to add another stop for this one. I'm going to come over here and go real quick and build a train station in here. So I am right clicking and rotating right now with my mouse and then I can go that in there. And we're just going to connect all three of these traps and now we can connect to this but we do need a road here so i'll go ahead and get that in place and then we can go ahead and we can do a passenger railway line tool and we could create a new route here that would go from here to the middle but what i want to do is i want to extend a route so if you've watched my uh, other tutorials this is one thing that I didn't quite add to some of these. So we have, I'm going to need to go in here to transportation overview. I'm going to change the color of the external ones like that. So now I can see that that orange one is my internal one. I'm going to pause. And also if you hover over, you can see it says what route it is, but we're going to click on that internal one and we're going to drag it to move it. And so if I come all the way out here, and then put it here, it has now changed that internal station to go to there, or that internal line to go all the way to there. And then I have to go in and add this. So I'm going to click and drag it to stop there, and click and drag it to stop in here as well. So it's going to stop in both directions on that same track. And because we only have one train going there, it should be fine. And so that is going to get some traffic going that way. And the reason I put it here, out here, is because when you're doing the internal rails, you want to make sure that you're connecting your trains to where your people want to go. That's true of any public transit. You want to make sure that your transit is going the way that people are going to want to go. And you can see this city has a lot of issues. It was one of the first ones I did, but uh, 
ignore those. But anyway, it you want to have so like here we've got a lot of people and downtown and stuff like that. We've got people over here. And so we are connecting that. And then we also now have the industry over here in a big chunk. So we want to make sure that people can get over there to work. So that's why I put it there. But again, that's all there is to it for passenger rail. It's really very simple. You want to get your train stations in. You need your rail yard to start and then get your train stations in and then create your lines. And that's all there is to it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will take you to a full beginner's guide tutorial showing you how to play the game step by step all the way through. So thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.